Hey girls, so today I've got my first ever empties. I have wanted to do one of these videos for a while, um, but I don't use up products um, all the way super fast. So I have been collecting for, I think a couple months, two months. So I thought I would go ahead and um, do it. So I just kind of kept everything like in a small Victoria's Secret bag um, so I could show you guys. So I'll try to go through this really fast because I do have um, a decent amount of products that are in here. Um, first one is this Dial Skin Therapy in Himalayan Pink Salt. And um, the smell is great, but it doesn't, it's not super moisturizing, I don't think. So I would not repurchase that. Um, second one is uh, the Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity Hairspray. This is a dry, brushable, lightweight, controlled hairspray. I got this um, from, where did I get it? Um, Marshalls for $9.99. And I have repurchased this already um, in, you know, the same exact size at, where did I get it? I got it at Ulta and I, you know, had to pay the full price. And I think currently right now, um, actually I shouldn't say currently right now because I don't know what day this video is going up so the sale might be done. Um, so I don't want to jinx myself. Um, but I know that it can be found at Ulta and you could probably get it at Marshalls and TJ Maxx as well. I finished off a It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Light. I got this in my New Beauty Test Tube. Wonderful product. 100% would repurchase it. I finally jumped on the bandwagon with these Neutrogena um, Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. I have repurchased this now three times. I started with just the, um, the seven um, sample you know, travel ones to see if I liked it and see if it would burn my eyes. I did not. And another makeup remover is one from Forever 21. Um, this had, I don't know how many were in here, um, but it was only $2.80. Worked really, really great. Um, you know, I would say maybe a step down from the Neutrogena, but it worked really nice. And then I tried the sample of the Garnier um, Triple Nutrition. I would gotten the shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in would not repurchase these again. It just did not make my hair feel um, conditioned or really soft. Um, so I wouldn't, that would be a, I wouldn't repurchase that one. And then the Garnier um, Triple Nutrition uh, Spray. And basically with this stuff, you just shake it up and then it mixes up um, and it's supposed to leave your hair shiny. This left my hair actually greasy. So I would not repurchase that. I have a couple of things. Um, these lash cards, um, this one's like, what the heck? I didn't even realize this. Um, it, I don't know if the name's picking up on camera, but um, yeah, it's picking up on camera, I think. I don't know. Um, but when I look at this card um, <laughs> face on, the lettering is completely the opposite way. Like I'm looking at it like a mirror, but when I put it in my mirror, I don't know if it's showing on camera, I can't tell. Um, it's going the crack way. Anyway, these lash cards work really great um, for when you're doing smoky eye or any eyeshadow that has a little bit of fallout. You just, you know, plop these underneath your eye and you just kind of dust on your eyeshadow. So I would repurchase those. And then back in the summer, I ended up ordering a hot look for um, the hydroxytone came in a little kit. It was the um, neck and decollete complex and the AMPM anti-wrinkle. This one absolutely smells disgusting. Like I couldn't even, I used it once or twice and I was just disgusted by the scent. So I can't even use this. Um, this one I did use, I gave it a shot. Um, I'll show you how much I actually used it, but I pretty much used the whole thing. And these are, let's see, one ounce jars. Would not repurchase it. Saw no change in my skin. Um, it was supposed to help with, you know, wrinkles, fine lines, and stuff like that. Saw no change, and it left my face greasy. So I'm not going to be giving those a try. A Lumini Firming Day Cream. Got this at Walgreens. Um, I think this one was at Walgreens. I think this one was at Walgreens. I know I'd gotten something in a test too, but at this one was Walgreens or CVS actually. Um, I did use this all up and this was just a little size and I would probably repurchase that. It was pretty good. 
just I've had for a while is the Tresemme Nourishing Rituals Liquid Gold Shine. It's supposed to leave kind of like a shine shimmer to your hair. Absolutely did nothing. And let's see here, makeup products. The benefits stay flawless. I 100% would repurchase that, love it. The CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara would not repurchase it. The, the brush is just so hard to like get all of your eyelashes. The Jordana Best Length Extreme. No way would I, I'm just tossing this baby. The bristles on here are pure hard rubber. You go to put it on your lashes and it's just not worth it at all. Let's see what we got in here. The Marc Anthony Oil of Morocco, Argan Oil. Um, the treatments. Got it at Ulta. I think this was, was $2.99 maybe. I think I got three uses out of this bad boy. So I would repurchase this. It did work. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the, the best hair mask or anything like that. But for $2.99 and for a couple of uses, definitely. I would repurchase this Nexus Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Alexar. Looks like this. Leaves my hair really, really nice. It has a great scent. The Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal. I got this in a Ipsy bag and I loved it so much that I went and bought the full size version. Bought it in October when they were doing the breast cancer awareness. And the Strivectin SD Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. And this just goes underneath your eyes. Um, it has helped with my fine lines underneath my eyes. So I did buy another one. And I will buy another one after this because I have seen results. It's not going to take away your fine lines under your eye all the way. But it, it has helped to kind of firm them up and make them, you know, not as visible. And then I had a sample of the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. And this was just it was nothing special to me. It didn't do anything Specials in my hair didn't make it look um, any different at all. I had also tested out a sample of the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. And this stuff smells really great and it did work. So this would be something that I would debate about getting in the future. It is a little bit more expensive, but it did work really nicely. And the last product is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, and I've actually got the wrong bottle with me. The one that I switched over to um, was for um, normal to dry skin. So this is the wrong bottle, but it is the color stay version that I got. Um, so that is what I've got for my first ever empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, like always, if you have questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer them to the best I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.